Hey babes, it's been an hour since I updated the previous new method to duplicate items in 112. And I know well that some people who are not too familiar with glitches or more casual gamers are going to have a bit of an issue with some of the inputs that you have to do in that version. So here we are back at it once again to show you a new, easier method on how to dupe items and weapons together at the same time in 112 as well. This is going to be much easier for some of you more casuals. I'm going to show you exactly what to do and just how easy it all is. And yes, you will be able to dupe items. However, it is a little different method. It's not the same as the last one. The last one allows you to go on and on and on again. This is going to require you to go to a couple of different places. So it's up to you depending on how much you want to dupe. But this is an alternative option and this is also a new method on how to dupe weapons one we don't have until now uh, for 112. So let's get to it. First of all, folks, you're going to want to find an Octorok in the mountains, the gray ones in particular. And this location has one. I have marked quite a few of them for people, so you can do multiple in one go, multiple dupes. Uh, this is another one over here. There's another one right over here. It's actually over here instead. You'll see it, though. And then there's one over here as well by the lizard. And there's one over here as well, down here to the southeast of Death Mountain. So all of this revolves around here. There's definitely more around. But I just have, I just happen to have these five listed on mapped on my map. Okay, so feel free to check out more. Make sure you do put a marker for all of these because these are going to be useful for you to do dupes, and you'll be able to do a duping run going from one to the other to the other to dupe more items much more easily. So let's show you how this is done. First step is once you've found one Octorok that you're able to use that has not buffed any weapons in this Blood Moon cycle, we're going to hit plus and we're going to make a hard save. That's important because we want to have a hard save here just in case we miss our timing on this. First things first, what you're going to want is a weapon that is not fused. And here we have a ladle that is not fused. You're also probably going to want some space for another one, the dupe that you're going to be picking up. And because it's a waste to just dupe a weapon, you can, of course, just dupe a weapon. When you do, you'll get your, uh, your durability back as well as a buff. So absolutely well worth to do it, for example, on this shield. However, you can also dupe an item at the same time, which I'm going to do. So in this case, we have 966 diamonds. I'm going to dupe a diamond because I think this is going to be one of the more popular choices for people to do. So I'm just going to drop it down there. I'm going to go into the fuse, and I'm going to fuse it to my soup ladle. If you could just leave me alone for a second. So what you're going to be expecting, this is completely normal. So far, no glitch. We have our diamond reaper. We just fused it to the soup label. That's all we did. Next up, we're going to set our runes to recall. Press B on that. We're going to throw our weapon over there. We're going to go kind of close because we want to use recall while it's just in the air, just before he eats it. And you want to make sure you are still absolutely able to see it. So highly recommend you drop a save before this, like I showed. All right, let's use the recall on the weapon. He eats it. He straight up ate it. We can pick up our weapon. He shoots another one out. We can pick that one out. And now, bam, guys, we have two diamond reapers in our inventory. One is equipped. And we just we just duped our weapon and the item that's on it. And we got critical hit on both of them. And that's how you do it, guys. But the thing is... It required him to have not eaten a weapon since the last Blood Moon because only then will he be able to give a buff to a new weapon. So that's what happened, guys. He gave a buff to the weapon. However, we recalled the weapon before he ate it. And he still ate it. So the animation was belated. It just delayed. And he ate it and he gave us a new one. So we got two. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to Tarrytown. If you are duping items instead of just the weapon, we're going to go to Tarrytown and get our items back. If any of you guys don't know about this section yet, um, well, we're going to be able to just split the item off of our weapon for a small cost. But we'll still get them back. So that's the good news. All right, let's just show you how to do that for people who are not familiar with this. I'm quite sure a lot of people who are watching are familiar with this part already. But this is probably going to be a lot easier for people who just weren't able to do the other method I showcased in Tarrytown before. So we're just going to go all the way over here. All right, so when we're in Tarrytown, the person you want to come to is this Goron over here. Break it down, zip za is what he's saying. And we're just going to talk to him down here. Uh, let's just go ahead and offer up one of our weapons. Yes, restore to our original state, break it down. And now you can choose one of the weapons you duped to get the item off it and the weapon back. 
You don't have to keep the weapon if you don't want to. You can if you were duping for good weapons. Your choice, you got a lot of flexibility in this method. The only downside is it's gonna cost you 20 rupees each time, but for a diamond dupe, that's not a lot, all right? You're getting 500 rupees out of the diamond, cost you 20 to get it. So there's our diamond, I don't need that soup label. We can do it again for the other weapon so we can get our original diamond back. If you wanna keep breaking them down, you do actually have to get rid of all the items that are on here. So now we can go ahead and break down our other item for the original diamond back. Let's go ahead and break that down. And I'll just show you my diamonds after this. Break you down. That's only for a soup ladle. Like, the soup ladle is completely worthless to me. I was just doing this for diamonds. However, it's absolutely well worthwhile doing it for weapons. And I'm going to do that now in a sec. Voila! We got it all. So now we have 967 diamonds. So we are up diamond. So in order to actually make more use out of this, you can do more Octorox in one go. Just go from one to the other to the other to the other and get like, at least I have five labeled here. You'll be able to find more Octorox if you wish and you'll be able to get a fair chunk of the items you want to dupe in a fairly short period of time. This is again 1.1.2. It's the best we got for the moment, but it's only been one day. Let's see what comes our way next. So let's say you're just focusing on duping weapons and you happen to have a really nice strong weapon that's about to break and you can't go looking for another one or you just don't want to. What we're able to do here is actually get this mighty Zonite shield, for example, the nicest looking shield in the game, by the way, restored to full durability as well as getting a second one. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. It's much easier than the item do because there's fewer steps, but what we're gonna do is get our recall ready as last time. I'm gonna go ahead and put our shield near this guy. Let him just fire one off real quick. Nice, great. Let him suck up our shield the shield we want to dupe and just get ready to use your recall so go on buddy there it goes just before it goes into his mouth get the recall on it he eats it we can pick up that one we can get the new one <laughs> and voila we have two all fully restored as you can see from the shining star on it and uh that's great dude we got we got the same shield we gave him back full durability and then we got a clone of that same shield back full durability couldn't be happier that is the best of cases for weapon duping in new version 1.1.2 well that's a wrap on how to break version 1.1.2 i'm sure the guys in the zelda factory are going to be working overtime to try and whip out 1.1.3 upon which i'm looking forward to giving you new duplication glitches on day one drop a sub so you can see that and just applaud along with us everybody's having a good time the workers who make this game as well as the players who play this game i'm sure you guys are too thanks for watching and i hope this method finds you well Enjoy the next video as well. Till then.